Thematic analysis is a process where a researcher identifies themes from a qualitative data set. They do this by using a process called coding. Coding is when a researcher selects a segment of text in their data and assigns a label to it. The label is the code. These days, it's common for researchers and designers to use software to do this, but there are other methods and tools you can use to code. You can see my other video on using affinity diagramming for thematic analysis. When we code, each segment of data that we want to keep and analyze is put into a category, like a box. So why do we code? Coding might seem like a tedious task, but we code our data so we can reduce a large amount of qualitative data down and make it more organized and manageable. After coding the data, we can see trends and patterns, which helps us find themes. Let's use an analogy to demonstrate the benefits of coding. Suppose you could arrange your clothes, nicely folded away in drawers, or having them all hanging in a walk-in closet. Which approach would be better to ensure you wore more of your clothes and wore better outfits? The walk-in closet, naturally. Why is that? That's because your clothes are more visible to you, and it's easier for you to make those comparisons of what looks good together. Coding offers the same advantages. It makes our data more visible and easier to manage. It also helps us easily make comparisons between different segments, which helps us find themes. Now that we know what coding is and why we do it, let's cover three tips to help you in your coding process. Tip one, start with some codes that tie to your research questions. You can still create new codes as needed, but starting with some preliminary codes that help you identify relevant data can help you answer your research questions. For example, if a research question is, what pain points exist for our users? Then a code pain point could be ready to use and apply. Tip number two, when assigning codes, don't start too granular. It's better to start with broad categories and later assign more granular codes when taking a second pass through the data within each category. This avoids having a mess of too many codes, which can make coding slower and more challenging. Finally, tip number three, clearly label your codes. Your codes should be short and concise. A word or a very short phrase should be what you're aiming for. If your codes are sentences or they have too many words, it could be a sign that your codes are too granular. Short, clear codes are also helpful when coding with others. If you're coding with a colleague, it can also help to have a short description of what the code means. Coding will always be time consuming, so you should give yourself enough time in your research process to do it. Following these three tips should make the coding process much smoother and more efficient. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.